learners today we will be studying about the secondary stress bearing areas of maxillary denture and i am dr chaya pande your mentor in the previous video on the primary stress bearing areas of maxillary denture we have already learned that the stress bearing areas is particularly divided into primary stress bearing area and secondary stress bearing area primary stress bearing area is of two types hard palate and posterolateral slope of residual alveolar ridge which we already covered in the previous video now let's move on to the secondary stress bearing area they are also of two type first one is rugae and the second one is maxillary tuberosity now the secondary stress bearing area area that resists the lateral force of occlusion and can aid the resistance to the vertical force that is surfaces that resist force strain or pressure basically brought on them during the function like mastication or occlusion etc first one is rugae and the second one is maxillary tuberosity let's see them in maxillary cast rugae here this pink elevation is called as rugae and the maxillary tuberosity this brown bulbous area is maxillary tuberosity now let's move on to the rugae in detail they are the mucosal folds located in the anterior region of the palatal mucosa these folds these elevations these all are rugae these are the mucosal folds on the anterior part of the palate okay now what are the significance of these rugae it plays an important role in speech that is in non denture bearing patients it helps in speech while in denture bearing patient it helps in denture retention and stabilization how it prevent the forward movement of the denture now maxillary tuberosity it is a distal part of the residual alveolar ridge and present the hard tissue landmark the underlying bone in this area could be irregular and cause soreness due to pressure on the denture base see the diagram here this bulbous area is maxillary tuberosity this is the most end part here this is the alveolar ridge suppose this is the alveolar ridge and this is the end part of the alveolar ridge now what are the significance of maxillary tuberosity the last posterior teeth should not be placed on the tuberosity that is while doing teeth arrangement in denture the last teeth of maxillary arch should not be placed on this maxillary tuberosity why because it causes soreness due to pressure okay they are least likely to resorb so can be used for retention of the denture we have already learned that this maxillary tuberosity is the hard tissue landmark they helps in retention of the denture and least likely to resorb if you find this video helpful do like it and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel icon shadow let's talk dental